Hello, beautiful people. This is EMTV. My name is Elvin Dennis. Um, good morning, Mr. Samana. Good morning, good morning. Uh, you are the press secretary to the president of Namibia. Will you just tell us what is it that President Joshua really want to achieve when it comes to constructing this uh, housing project? Well, this is part of the president's commitment to transforming the lives of the Liberian people. Uh, the pro poor agenda is finally at work. The president intends to embark on a housing uh, construction project uh, that will impact the lives of slum dwellers as well as Liberians residing in the rural parts of Liberia. You know, during the campaign, the president traveled throughout the hinterland and he, he observed that uh, several of our people are still living in abject po poverty. And uh, also the president uh, remembered that uh, uh, while growing up in South Town uh, in the 70s, a uh, lot of Liberians uh, in the rural parts of Liberia were living in uh, slum communities. So the president feels that we are now in the 21st century. There should be no reason for Liberians to still be living in mud houses. Uh, it's been over 30 years, 40 years, and we still see people living in uh, uh, mud houses. So what the president intends to do is to embark on this housing project that would transform the lives of slum dwellers as well as Liberians living in, in, uh, in the rural parts of Liberia. This is at no cost to, to these uh, 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 citizens. This is going to be free of charge. This is a project that, is, that the government of Liberia is sponsoring. He, the president may not be able to touch all, every part of, reach every part of Liberia, but at least he's going to lay that foundation for the future generation to build upon. So this is what we are witnessing here today. You talk about Sasta. Does that mean the president will start from Sasta after the official launch? Well, let's not focus on Sasta alone. This is going to be across the country. Okay, uh, we're going to start basically by uh, changing all those mud houses along the various highways leading to the rural communities, and then uh, Sastan will be one of the uh, the the, uh, the cities to uh, the towns or village to benefit from this project. But this is not going to this is not a Sastan project. This is a a, uh, a a national project that is that is going to be taking place. So you will have. Uh, the entire country being affected by this project one way or the other. It's, it sounds so big. Uh, how do you look at, let's look at the cost? This is, you know, I, I, I don't really know what the cost is uh, exactly, but from, from what I can recall, this is uh, going to be anywhere within the tune of maybe almost uh, five million dollars initial as an initial start. And this is just an initial start. Eventually, we're going to move on to West Point. Uh, as I speak, there's feasibility studies going on to transform the entire West Point into a uh, a modern uh, community for the residents in, in, in West Point. So they are doing feasibility study uh, to address the sea erosion issue and then also soliciting funding to be able to uh, uh, address the housing issue that, it, that the people of West Point is faced with. So uh, we, we, we just want to applaud the president and commend him for taking such a bold step. This is unprecedented. Uh, this is something that is going to be at, at no cost to the Liberian people. And we are glad today that we can dedicate a prototype of the president's vision. You think uh, counties will benefit according to population? Uh, uh, we, we are not going to be selective. It's not going to be based on the population. The president is just going to try to ensure that this project impacts the lives of as much people as he can. What does it say to you as press secretary to the president that in five months time, the president is the will sit upon several projects? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all because we say talk and do. And uh, this is the president that, uh, that intends to work for the people. He, that's, that's why he ran on a, on a campaign mantra of a pro poor agenda to ensure that the lives of the ordinary Liberians are transformed. So I'm not, I'm not surprised. This is unprecedented, and the president is, uh, needs to be commended with such a great project. How many countries do they project uh, to well, I, I can't tell you the exact numbers uh, as far as the counties, but what I can tell you is that the president intends to uh, reach as much counties as he can. And we may not be able to to do the entire Liberia, like I said earlier, but at least what we're going to do, we're going to lay the foundation for, for the future generation to build upon our future administration. Mr. Mana, you are one of the young persons working in just your eight persons in our government. What is your own impression about youth empowerment in this country? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that our president is champion, championing youth empowerment, women, not just youth empowerment, women empowerment. Yeah, as you can, as you look across government, you see uh, lots of people, lot, lots of youth, lots of women uh, are serving all over in government. And this is unprecedented, you know. And, uh, and uh, I just, we, we must commend the president for, 
for entrusting this country back into the hands of the youth uh, because uh, the president believes that it's time for generational change and this is the generational change that he preached about uh, for the last 12 years and now he's taking he's giving the country back to the youth and to uh, to, to women and, and, and what have you so I think we must applaud him for such a step thank you thank you